All right, guys, we're back with round three, Edison format, Epic Cards and Games in Hearst, Texas. We got Ryan Eyed on the left playing Hero Frogs, there's Hobby on the right playing GBs. So both these guys are X1. This was four rounds of Swiss, cut to top eight. So loser here has a very slim chance to make top eight where the winner has to win the last round. So we'll see. Looks like Hobby went first, activated upstart, and sets one back row. Oh, they had to turn the fan off. That's why he put the thing on his deck because it, it was blowing the cards around. So yeah, these two are kind of regulars on the channel. Ryan's been there at the beginning, and Javi just got back into Edison. Uh, Ryan's got three wins on the channel. Well, Javi technically is supposed to have one, but I ha he has no wins as of right now because I accidentally deleted the finals that he won. So he's trying to get that first win because he's it's just unfortunate. But since there was no finals, I'm not going to count it. Anyways, here, Javi, bottomless is a Stratos, and Ryan... Kind of pre-playing Javi. He knows he plays, he's playing GBs. Or maybe he would search alias anyway. I'm not saying he's pre-playing them. But uh, maybe if he wasn't playing against GBs, he wouldn't grab the alias there. I don't know. I don't know his hand. But that just happens at locals. People pre-play. I do it too. <laughs> so I'm not going to say here. Anyways, Ryan does shoot Javi's hand, which is Darius, Sekitor, Bestiari. It doesn't matter because he has proven ground. Yeah. And he chooses the Bestiari. So his hand is D-Prison MST. And here, Javi summons Darius, attacks Ryan for 17, and tags out for Laquari. So now he, his, he knows the alias can't deal with Laquari. Now, this Javi set. So Javi chose to set the MST and not the D-Prison. Probably because he wants to MST. Like if Ryan goes and sets a back row, like a Regeki break or something, he wants to MST it. Right now, he knows that Ryan, at least from his knowledge, he probably can't deal with with a Laquari. And here comes MST. MST's Ryan's M Ryan's MST. All right. So Javi has proven ground, but I doubt I doubt he's going to go into Geyseris here. Because when you're playing against frogs, what are they most likely to set? Especially now that you MST the MST. Uh the Hero Frog deck, the traps they usually play are what? Wing Blast, Regeki Break, Torrential and Mirror Force. It used to be people would play, would not expect Torrential and Mirror Force in Frogs, but now it's too common. You have to expect those cards in that deck from now on. So, yeah, the only card you would be okay with Geyserising is Mirror Force, but it's too risky. So, I, like, I knew Javi was going to do this play. So, he Proving Grounds for a quest. It looks like he hits directly with a quest. And here comes Ryan with the Regeki Break, discards Battle Fader, and hits Laquari, and then drops Gores. So he will get a 1600 token. So maybe Ryan doesn't have a, a Monarch. This kind of tells me that... I think if he had a Monarch, he probably drops the Fader. So I, I don't think Ryan's hand is that good. Now here, Javi... I guess he would drop... He could drop the Gores as well. No, but then he would save the Gores. I think... My, my guess is that Ryan does not have a Monarch in his hand. Anyways, Javi tags out for Laquari. So Javi knows Ryan has Alias in hand. And Gores is the only monster big enough to run over Laquari, which Javi has Deep Prison for. So Ryan's hand is, I think, Alias, Miracle. I see Miracle in his hand. I think Javi messed up life points. It should be 57, 8,000. Ryan has not take. I mean, Javi has not taken anything. Ryan hasn't attacked you at all. Yeah, Javi completely messed up the life points there. <laughs> All right. Let's see. What will Ryan do? You can't, I guess, just switch the gores to attack mode, but maybe you just get the D prison out of the way because ah, this is this is a tr tricky situation. So he summons Alias. Okay. Switches everything to attack mode because he doesn't want other GBs to bounce off the monsters. I think this is also a, a re he doesn't want to get blown up by Mirror Force either. So maybe Ryan is trying to bait Javi to attack the alias and then go for Rediari and banish the alias. And then and then he has two monsters that can run over Rediari. So let's see what Javi does. This is an inter this is an interesting situation. Anyway, Javi hits him for 200, so we're at 55 to 8,000. And I think Javi knows that. I think this tells me that Javi probably only has. One, like, attack stopper. So we'll see. Does Javi tag out? Yeah. 
So I think he only has one card to stop an attack. That's why he didn't go for the Radiari play. Okay, so Ryan sets, activates Miracle, and there's a Solemn. So Javi pays half his life, so we're at 4,055. So now all Ryan can do is attack over... I guess maybe you just get the D-Prison out of the way now. Or do you force him to gorge you... We'll see. I mean, you know that one's D prison, so Ryan just kind of like, ah, I hope you go and you get uh, Mermillo. Okay, but unfortunately, uh, Javi drew another GB. Or did we know he had another one? We know he has Sekitor. He still has a Sekitor in his hand. Yes, we know he has Sekitor. Okay, so Sam Knight hits over Dupe, so Javi takes 400. And now well, Javi's going to run over the token, most likely. Oh, no, he has to attack dupe. Sorry. Yeah, he has to attack dupe now that he flipped the face up. Yeah, Javi should have hit with the token first. Oh, no, they didn't catch it. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no, they both missed it. Javi's supposed to attack over dupe. But it's funny that uh, Javi, Javi should have hit the token first. And then hit the dupe, but okay. So he pops the gores, and this is wild. They neither one of them caught it. I think the reason people forget is because they're so used to uh, the double dupe block. That's when everyone knows, oh, you can't attack. But I think when there's only one, people forget that you can only attack him. And like it happens to me so much where I have a substitute and a dupe, and people just forget that. Uh, Duke can't be destroyed by battle. They all like it happens often for people who don't have much experience against uh, frogs. It happens to me all the time. <laughs> Anyways, let's see. This is not looking good for Ryan. He's down so many cards. The only good news is is that Hobby's going to take a ton of damage here. So he's going to take twelve, and then he's going to take eight hundred. So now Hobby's at sixteen, and we know the D prison. We know one of Javi's back rows is D prison. Yeah, man, that that them not catching that hurt really bad because uh, Ryan's supposed supposed to still have a token. Anyways, here comes a quest and Mermillo. So now he pops the dupe. So first he needs to grab something back for a quest. He chooses Laquari and pops the dupe. Can he summon Herc? Has he normal summoned? No, I don't think he's normal summoned. I think he's going he's gonna to make Hurt. Let's see. Two back rows. One of them's a deep prison. Oh, no, never mind. He just passes. He's got three cards in hand. Ryan's hand's like E-call. So Ryan's on the two E-calls. I like two... <coughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry for the cough. I like two E-calls, but you... Sometimes you do draw a dead mid to late game. But it makes your opening so much better, though. So I don't know if it's if it's worth the risk of drawing it dead. Okay, so swap sent Treeborn. One thing I'm wondering is if should Ryan have just walked into the D prison earlier? Okay, so Ryan knows where the D prison is. So do you target one of the GBs or you just hit the D prison? Oh, he chooses the new one, which is a another d prison right that that one unless if javi moved his spell and trap cards oh okay never mind maybe maybe javi moved his spell and traps i don't know what happened there. i could have sworn that was a d prison or maybe javi never set the d prison that's another possibility so 18 26 yeah 16 18 yeah, so Ryan's at 13th, Javi's 16, and now Ready Ari. Yeah, maybe Javi didn't set the Compose. I could have sworn he set the Compose turn one. So he Ready Ari's Treeborn. Now brings out Laquari, and. Yeah, maybe Javi kept the D Prison in his hand this whole time and then set the Compose. Or did he move his back rows? Javi does occasionally move his back rows, and I told him to stop doing that. 
Okay, so he hurks. And how many cards are left in his hand? So Javi basically knows Ryan needs to draw. Oh, but he has no chariot. What if Ryan, Ryan could go like special swap tribute for Caius and that's game? Yeah. <laughs> Cause we, so we know Ryan's got Caius in hand. So if he has a way to spec, like he can go Prodigy, Caius. Oh, this this is good as well. Catastor runs over Herc. So yeah, maybe Javi shouldn't have gone for Herc if he didn't have a chariot. Because then he was to have two GBs. And yeah, maybe that, that this might have been a, mi a mistake on Javi's part. We'll see. Maybe in this scenario, Javi thought, I know you have Caius in hand with no Treeborn. So the only way you beat me is with, uh, yeah, maybe Javi's thinking the only way you beat me is with Miracle Fusion. So I'm just going to go for Herc. But there's other things that Ryan could have done. He could have, like, if he had a swap and another Monarch, sorry, another Water, he could special swap. So here comes the Caius and attacks for game. So Ryan wins game one, even though it looked, it looked like Javi was in a dominant position. I wonder what would have happened had he not gone for Herc there. I think he still loses because he had too many monsters in his hand. And it, obviously that other back row, was it Cherry? I don't know. But I guess we'll, we'll never know if Javi had not gone for that Herc. Anyway, so Javi's going first game two. Summons Laquari. Activates for Spite. Puts back Sam Knight and Laquari. Both these guys are playing at a reasonable pace. Because these two are kind of notorious at my locals for being slow. They play slow, but I don't, I don't notice it. See, to me, like, I notice it when, whenever I notice it, it's usually, like, Donnell. But that, that game, that was a long game, but I didn't, I didn't feel like they were playing slow. Okay, so now Javi upstarts Ryan and sets a back row. Kind of the same opening from game game one. So here, so yeah, Ryan's off to a good start. MST's the mirror force, summons Stratos, and now Javi's going to have to deal with... Oh, but Javi had the Gores. Oh. I thought, like, Ryan was in a good spot, but maybe that Gores might hurt Ryan. So Javi took 18. Two back rows. I wonder if Javi kept in Heavy Storm against Frogs. I tend to side it out. MST you can keep in because at least you can like hit him end phase. But Heavy Storm I almost always side it out. Sometimes. But they're running so many traps these days. It might be worth it to just keep the Heavy in. Okay, so Javi summons. So let's see. Is Javi afraid of Mirror Force? Now you know he doesn't have Torrential. Because he definitely Torrentials you here. The only thing you're afraid of your Javi is Mirror Force. But maybe he plays my body as a shield. Maybe Javi sided it in. It's possible. I think Javi likes that card. I, I think it's okay in GBs. I'd probably consider playing it. Okay. Anyway, so he took 900 from the Stratos hitting the... And here he Karma cuts the GB. And now he takes 18. So he has access to Treeborn. So like, let's say if Javi sets a back row, maybe ooh, Ryan's got Miracle. Okay. So maybe Ryan's in a good spot if he can, like, use that back row. I wonder what that back row is that Ryan set. Now two back rows. So Javi took 100 there. Yeah, I wonder what Ryan's back rows are. Ryan likes to side in D prisons and stuff. So, But the first one I don't think is a D, is a D prison. Maybe the second one he set could be D prison. Javi's got Test Tiger in his hand. Okay, summons a quest. So he chooses to attack. Yeah, that, I knew the second one was most likely a D prison. Main phase two, smashing ground. And Javi sets one. Okay, it was dust. See, now, now Ryan's in a pretty good spot. Oh, crow. Ooh, that hurt. Because I, I, I can see Miracle in Ryan's hand. He does not have a water monster for Miracle. And now, ooh, this is not looking good. Now he's getting Sekitored. One thing we will say is this. Should Ryan have searched 
Ocean instead of Alias when he had Miracle. Mm. That's going to be a tough one because you you want the Alias for the GBs. But he did have Treeborn as his only water. It looks like Treeborn is the only water he has for Miracle Fusion. And now Radiari, a quest, grab back Chariot. Yeah, this game is out of control now. So yeah, he sets Chariot. So he's got Miracle, I think Brain Control. Yeah, you need Brain Control against GBs, especially you're going second. So yeah, Brain, Miracle. What's his other card? Okay, Brain's the... Oh, he can use the Radiari to fuse with. Oh, this is nice. <laughs> oh, man. He uses already. His miracle was dead if it wasn't for the. Did he rip brain? I guess he could have drew any water monster in his deck. Hold on, Ryan took 800. Okay, now he hits him for 21 here. Oh, man, Ryan. Ryan. But if Javi has. Okay, so yeah, this is. He's going to Mermillo and then chariot him. Yeah, this is unfortunate. Did Javi rip the other tiger? Oh, man, yeah, chariot. And it flipped again. This is this has been a good game. Yeah, this has been a good game. So 800. Yeah, it should be 43, 4,000. That's what I have. Yeah, 43, 4,000. Okay. Now what does Javi do? Does he equest him again? Does he ready Ari him? Oh, no. His, his ready Ari is gone. I wonder if Javi... So last time Javi was on camera, I... Discussed him adding the second ready Ari. I wonder if he did, or maybe it's in his side deck. I think he should at least side deck the second ready Ari. If you don't want to main deck it, at least consider throwing it in your side deck. We'll find out because I'm curious. And now Ryan has a set of monster. Did he side in like Snowman Eater or something for GBs? But Javi has Chariot, so yeah, it's not looking good for Ryan. Oh my god, a third Tiger? <laughs> man start calling Javi the Tiger King all these Tigers he draws <laughs> Javi the Tiger King that's going to be his nickname from now on <laughs> because he chooses to get Laquari off the Tiger attacks Dupe is he going to chariot him the chariot the Dupe yeah he does chariot the Dupe tags out Laquari Javi's going fast Let's see if the second Radiari is coming. Nope. At least not yet. It could be in there, but we haven't seen it. And he grabs back the Chariot. But Ryan's Miracle is still live because he has, I believe, Ab-Zero in there. Yeah. His Miracle is live if he draws into one. But, like, he can draw a bunch of dead Monarchs. Ryan's playing pretty well. They're both playing pretty well. The only thing... I'm I'm more curious on is if Ryan should have searched Ocean there. Maybe Ryan will let us know in the comments if he thinks. But I get why he searched the alias, because you're gonna need it in the GB match. Man, you have Treeborn as your water, but I don't know, that one's interesting. I'm not saying I would have searched the ocean, I really don't know. But also I, I you're also expecting like you're playing a frog deck, like you're bound to draw another water, so I kinda like agree with him searching alias there. Like, it's just unfortunate that the only water he had at the time was the was the Treeborn. So it looks like Javi hits him for 16. So we're at 27, 4,000. I'm pretty sure Ryan sided out Gores in this matchup. Maybe he kept him Battle Fader. Anyways, yeah, I'm, I'm almost positive Javi does not have the second ready art. But I'm, I'm telling you, Javi, you should consider siding the second one. But at the same time, you don't expect him to banish your Radiari with Miracle. It just happened with Brain Control. All right, 27, 4,000. So here comes Sub, Pop Sub. So I know he has Chariot. Maybe he's trying to bait out the Chariot. But how you might let it go through? Like, wh why? Yeah, yeah, see, why waste the Chariot? What's he going to do? Get Swap? Get Treeborn? I agree with this. You'd, you'd rather hold the chariot in case Ryan has a miracle play. And then, like, if you have, like, a deep prison, like, in deep prison, the ab zero, and then play, uh, and then chariot it. All right. Yeah, Javi's in, like, a commanding position. 
So here comes Bestiari. Why didn't Javi go for game? Javi, why didn't you go for game? He's in such control, but I had, he could have gone for game. Unless you're afraid. Yeah, yeah. You have Chariot. Yeah, Javi could have ended it last turn. I think he knows it, too. Yeah, he should have he ended it right now and say you're giving him life. But this was already a long match, so this might come back to bite him in, th in game three if they go into time. See, this, is, this has been happening to me a lot recently because I've been playing frogs. I've been playing against more frogs at the locals. Game three, I, I, I keep having to side out my upstarts. And Javi has the compulse, and that's game. So, yeah, Javi, you, gave, you waste a little bit of time there. Let's see if it comes back to bite you in game three. And let's hope that Javi sided out his upstarts. Because I'm always looking at the clock, and if there's a few minutes, especially against frogs, I'm like, okay, upstarts are coming out. Boom, take them out. Okay. So it looks like Ryan's going first his third game. Who's going to win? Will Ryan win, or will Javi pull off the Legacy 2-0 slash Backdoor 2-0? Anyways, Ryan with the sub into swap play. See, I've been told, like, sometimes you're better off just passing with frogs. That's what some... I forgot who was telling me. When you're playing against GBs, because, like, here, you're kind of just asking him to ready Ari or Treeborn. But maybe he needs the water for Miracle. I don't know Ryan's hand. But... Oh, he has he has the other Treeborn in his hand. So here he hits him for 18. This is something I think maybe... Like we need Ryan should play test against GBs and see if is it even worth it to do this first turn? To dump the treeborn? Or are you better off just passing? Because then like w unless you're afraid of like Javi Sekitoring you. Alright. Let's see. He has a swap and a treeborn. But I so his hand see, these are the hands with uh, with the frog deck that I don't like. Ryan has Treeborn, Swap, and Dupe in his hand. So, Tributes for Caius. Does Javi have the Chariot? And Javi does have the Chariot. Oh, yeah, he has Uni and Ocean. Yeah, Ryan's hand is really, really bad. <laughs> yeah, he drew awful. And now here comes Cat. Yeah, this is might be a quick third game. I don't know. Yep, yep, yep. Now Sekitor's coming down. So, he chooses to tag out the, what is it? The Ready Ari or the. So he chooses the Sam Knight. Gets Sekitor. Hits Ryan for 400. And then 12. So 46 to 8,000. See, the thing about me with GBs, I played against Javi. I, like, I would test against Javi back in the day. So that's why I kind of know GBs pretty well. Anyways, he grabs back Chariot. And now Laquari and probably Ready Ari. Yep, and what do you get rid of? The Treeborn. So now Ryan does not have Treeborn for the rest of the game. And Herc is coming out. So Herc. Herc, a quest, chariot. And Ryan's hand is awful. So yeah, it's not. I don't see how he gets out of this one. Yep. Unless unless if you side in like a Volcanic Queen, which I've been telling people, if you if you have a bad GB matchup, maybe you should side Volcanic Queen or something. Okay, let's see. So now Ryan sets one. 46 to 8K. And he summons Darius. Attacks into dupe. And this is what? 33. So he does not use a chariot. Yep, 33. Maybe he's afraid of like Battle Fader or Gores or something. That's why he doesn't care. I mean, he doesn't care. Like to him, it's irrelevant. Like I don't care if you search a swap frog. And let's see what he tags out for. So Laquari and he has nothing to grab back. So I guess just maybe ready R him again. Why not? Or you can get another Laquari, double Laquari, a Hippo. Oh, a Sam Knight. That's a good one. So in case you kill one of his monsters, you can grab back. Uh, you can add another Chariot or Respite or something. So let's see. 
Ryan draws. He has Soul Exchange, but... So, yeah, just Soul Ex MST, Negate, Soul Exchange, Negate, and Ryan Scoops. So, Javi pulls off the Legacy 2-0, Backdoor 2-0, and it lives to find another day. Ryan basically has a slim chance to make top eight now. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed that match, and we'll be back soon for round four. Bye, guys.